Hi there guys, Sam here, welcome back to another video. Now you join me going through the new 992 GT3, so this is really, really exciting. A quick reveal was basically sent from like um, the Top Gear yeah, YouTube channel, really exciting video. So I just wanted to go through that, go through the important bits, and yeah, share it with you all. So yes, welcome back to another video, and as you can see on screen, there was a recent video um, with Chris Harris from Top Gear, and it was, yeah, I thought it was one of the best sort of reveals recently, particularly in the day and age where we live with, well... Instagram, you know, spy shots, everything comes out so, so quickly. You never get anything directly from the manufacturer. But for once, this was just a, well, it was a long 40 minute video. Um, but uh, during during the video, essentially, and I'll skip to the main point, they do reveal the GT3, which is just fantastic. Um, they reveal sort of like the front of it. it looks amazing in that blue, as you can see there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pause it for you all. So that <laughs> it looks great and what it didn't make me real actually made me realize there's a lot of the spy shots that you see around sort of like the Nürburgring and stuff so with um, Andreas Pruninger and apologies if I can't pronounce that name correctly but you've got someone who's had you know since 1999 developing these GT products and he's, he's just got so much passion and everything about the cars it's what I love same with Chris Harris you know they know what they're both about and I just love seeing that and when I saw the reveal which I didn't realize was going to happen as I was kind of watching the channel um, I was like, that's the way to do it. Little bit of a sneak shot, a little bit of sort of like the front end, little bit of the rear end. That's really, really cool. And you can see from here, it looks really great in that blue. That's not even a PTS color. That's just a standard, yeah, a standard color. And yeah, it looks great. It definitely looks different from the spy shots as well. That's been kind of seen around the Nürburgring. But I'll move it on a little bit as they kind of go further through it. Um, I mean, it's going to be an amazing car. Naturally aspirated engine still going to retain it um they seem to like it quite a lot as well <laughs> obvious for obvious reasons and actually <laughs> going around the back as well i i think it probably even looks even better and being such a big gt4 fan and looking forward to gt4 rs this really took me away and i was kind of like that that's just such a cool way to reveal it um and you know rather than wait for someone to leak your real car photos this is the way to do it and i'll pause it at the right point um yeah that's the rear end of the car and you know different type of wing so much work that kind of goes into it it's a very functional car the sort of gt products and i suppose just on the price sort of side of things these normally sit below sort of like the turbo and the turbo s in terms of price now you can pay up to sort of like 160 thousand pounds upwards for those kind of cars so hopefully expect it to be sort of around the one 130 140 mark although i can't be 100 percent sure um it's certainly a dream type car for a driver and you know you just get that porsche badge that porsche um legacy really and i just thought in a day and age you know with i'm sharing this on the 28th of november 2020 um yeah, everything is just so instant and so revealed in such a um in such a fashion which isn't really appealing to car enthusiasts for me i think something like this okay you don't have to watch the full 40 minutes but it just builds up the history and then bang 28 minutes in they share a sneak reveal of something that's really really exciting and a last of an era um i'll see if there's any bits more to kind of share just from here before i sort of go back and pause it so before the car's then hidden so there we go it goes back under cover um but yeah let me just quickly quickly rewind it and just leave it on here for you lot um but yeah let me know what you think about the new 992 gt3 um it should be a really exciting car um told it sounds quite good as well from this video as well and people who really know their stuff um an exciting car really exciting reveal something that got me i was just like this is brilliant this is the way to do it isn't it um this is the way to kind of show a car to the world and um yeah, and it's a, it's one thing that got me is how and Andreas was saying how he purposely makes the car ugly in areas which essentially don't affect the aero. So the prototype cars, the ones going around the Nürburgring, the only bits that were functional were the bits that aren't really necessarily for styling. So all the stuff that is all the styling aesthetics to make the car look beautiful, um, they just stick some horrible parts on it because they do nothing. They do absolutely nothing. So... Um, I like that and I think he probably has a smile on his face as like photographers try and get pictures and stuff of it um, 
And it was the same with the rear wing. The rear wing was designed to look worse. And then here, yeah, they make it look fantastic. A little bit of a ducktail spoiler there, as you can see at the rear. Um, but really, really cool. Let me know what you think about the 992 GT3. I thought I'd break it down in this video um, early Saturday morning here. And I hope you have enjoyed it. But um, listen, drop comments on uh, this amazing, fantastic new Porsche. And it's nice to bring a bit of Porsche content back to my channel. And um, yeah, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you're all keeping well. Thanks so much for the, for the support. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.